Female athletes are currently losing scholarships, opportunities, medals, education, and training opportunities. This amendment will require schools that are part of the OHSAA to de designate separate teams. Tempers clearly flared at the state house after an amendment affecting trans athletes was added to legislation about paying athletes. 10 TV's Kevin Landers is live at the state house with some new reaction from Governor DeWine. Kevin. Well, good afternoon. It's unclear if the house session today will actually take up that topic. The issue is whether or not lawmakers will accept or reject legislation that would require schools that have athletics to make those teams based on the sexual identity of the participants. Now, under the legislation, it would ban transgender girls from joining female teams. In 2017, the Ohio High School Athletic Association voted to allow transgender athletes to compete following a year of hormone, hormone therapy to show they had no physical advantage. Supporters of the legislation say it's about fairness. Opponents say this legislation impacts a small minority of athletes and should be allowed. Now, just this morning, Governor Mike DeWine weighed in on Senate Bill 187, saying the issue is best addressed outside of government through individual sports leagues and athletic associations, including the Ohio High School Athletic Association, who can tailor policies to meet the needs of their member athletes and member institutions. Now, here's some of the debate from yesterday. This amendment is pro-women. It is not anti-LGBTQ. Shameful day in this, uh, this body today. Uh, this is one of the most extreme political attacks on transgender people in the nation. Now, what makes this bill more controversial is that it was slipped into a bill that had nothing to do with transgender athletes. It had to do with name, uh, image, and likeness of, of athletes, as well as sports gambling in the state. But now this has been slipped into the bill, and now all of it remains up in the air, and it's unclear whether it will, whether it will pass as lawmakers try to balance the budget by July 1st. Reporting live at the Statehouse, Kevin Landers, 10TV News.